Many of you have asked me in my previous videos how I set up night vision in Rayshade for Star Citizen. I actually learned this from a friend recently, but now I am gonna make a short yet detailed tutorial video to show you how to achieve this Rayshade in the basic level. I'm gonna make it as simple as possible. So let's start from the very beginning. Rayshade. And you can click Rayshade or Rayshade Download. And then click Rayshade. Make sure it's in this website and click download. So here is something to pay attention to. So you have two downloads you can choose. This one is download Rayshade 5.9.2. This one is download Rayshade with a full add-on support. Personally, I tried this one with a full add-on support. This one conflicts with my game. I cannot launch my game after I download this. So I have to delete this and then only download this one. But you can try on your own. However, a word of caution, this is a third party software. So sometimes they do conflict with Star Citizen. But so far for me, this one, download Rayshade 5.9.2 is good. Once you finish download, just uh, click to install this program. And uh, it says select a game or application to install this. You don't see Star Citizen here, but don't worry. Just click browse and find your game. My game is installed in C drive, so find the game game root folder click rubber space industries and then find star citizen in here you see three different folders so here is the thing if you want to use Rayshade to live you have to install it specifically to live if we have a ptu for example we have a tech preview channel running right now so if you want to use a Rayshade for tech preview as well so you have to download a second one to tech preview channel so each of these folder you have to install a Rayshade if you want to use it. So for example, we want to install this to live and then under bin 64, just the first folder right here, bin 64, double click and then find the exe file, star citizen, double click it and click next, default, next. So you will see an install for me, it's update. You know what, let me do this. I'm gonna cancel. For example, I'm going to install this copy to EPTU so I'm double click EPTU and then bin 64 and star citizen exe file double click click next default here select presets to install you don't have any presets but don't worry I'm gonna help you to create presets or import presets later in this video so just click next or skip here is very important select effect packages to install here are the, all the packages there's a lot of them so if you know exactly what these are, you can select specific package to install. So in the beginning, I want to explore all of them. So I just click uncheck all and then click check all. So I'm going to install all of them and click next. Here it will take a few minutes to install every single package. All right, once it's done, just click finish. You're all set, okay. Launcher started. So Rishade is now installed successfully. Press home to start the tutorial. So press home here. You can read it, but after you read it, just click continue or skip tutorial. So continue and then here will tell you all these, but I'm going to tell you exactly the basics, what it is. All right. Now just the bottom, just click continue and finish. That's it. You are all set. Okay, now if I press home, you can see I have all the newly installed effect. That's a lot of them. So I am going to help you only choose a few that will achieve the night vision effects. First thing you want to do is to click this add a new preset button over here. Let's name it night vision test. Okay, hit enter. So to create night vision in the basic level, you just need one or two effects. The first one is called tint. So just search for it and you see tint. Before you do that, right click on tint and click move to top. And then you click this cross button to delete the search. Now you can see the tint is at the very top. Next effect you want to use is the tone map. So search T-O-N-E M-A-P. Tone map, same thing, right click, move to top, and then cancel the search. And you can see tone map right now is at the very top. So click tone map and click tint. You can see a little different because right now the tint 
I'm using default, whatever that is. So if you want to achieve the night vision, so you want to go to the middle of green. I mean, the specific color is personal preferences, or the lightness or darkness of that color. So you can move your cursor around to see. Now go back to home. You can see now you have applied a tint filter. Over here, you can control the strength of the tint filter. You can go to 100% or you can go to 50%. And then let's play around with tone map. Tone map is similar to this one. When you go to your option, go to graphics, and you can see gamma, brightness, and contrast. So 47, 51, and 53 is what I set for my game right now. You can play around with it. So 48, 51, and 53, something like that. So contrast. So here you have your gamma, you have your exposure, you also have your saturation. And gamma basically controls your gamma, the lightness and darkness of your pixels. And exposure will also control the lightness in general and darkness. You can go really bright or you can give it more strength to your tint. So something like this, tone map and tint. These two are the very basics for you to achieve this night vision effect. And because Area 18 is very bright, if you want to achieve something really creative, you can bring the gamma all the way up and exposure down. And saturation goes up a little bit more and give it more tint. So these two are the very basic setting to achieve the night vision effect. So you have to play around with it in different situations. Like here, Area 18 is very bright, so many lights. You don't need too much night vision to see but uh, in some other areas like Herson it's very dark at night so you might need to use night vision a little bit stronger so these two are the basics next I am going to give you some recommendations you can add more effect to it some of the very useful effects one of them I found personally is a brightness if you search brightness you can see contrast brightness saturation and just click move to top and you will see right here and this one controls your brightness your contrast and saturation and vibrance you can see this one has so many sliders that you can play play around with it so here you also have tint you can see you can manipulate the tint but it's not as good as visually you can see over here tint you can see the color and you can choose the tint color i can even choose a little bit more natural color, yellowish here, or more red like this, or more cold color. Many different effects that you can achieve with this tint. It's very, very useful. So let's just uh, put this one for now for night vision. And here you also have exposure on this one. I found this one to be a little bit better, stronger effects. And you also have contrast. And you also have brightness. Bring brightness down, bring more contrast to it. Let's make it more extreme. Okay, and then you have vibrance. Look at the, how rich the color is. And then saturation. And the rest are more advanced. You can go to specific color channels to manipulate those colors. For example, I want... Um, oh, look at this. Super cool. So these are the additional effect that you can achieve with this contrast, brightness, and saturation. But our topic is night vision. So let's put night vision on. Okay, so I am now going to go to more details about other effects. You can play around yourself. But now I'm going to show you very important and useful tips so here is how you set up your keybinds. You can see overlay key is home. So basically press home to toggle it on and off. And then effect toggle key, I set it to delete, which means if I press delete, all my effects goes away. If you press home, you can still see the effects here that I checked, but it doesn't show. This is the original, whatever that is in my game setting or my monitor setting. 
If I press it again to toggle the effect on, you can see the effect is on for this particular preset. And over here, the bottom two is previous preset key and next preset key. This is when you have different presets. You simply can press the key bind to switch to different effects. You can go through your list. You can look at on your top left corner. You can see the name of those presets. Last point for this video is how can you export and import presets? It's very easy. Just go back to your rubber space industry folder, Star Citizen, go to live, whatever that you install your reshade, bin64. Just in the bin64 folder, look for the INI file. Or you can even group by type. And you can see the INI files are grouped together right here. So you can copy paste. You even can change the name here. So night vision test. I'm going to rename it a creative one. And hit enter. Go back to your game. You can see this night vision test has changed to creative one. And you can select this one. Now I have this creative color filter. It's actually quite nice. Oh, this is actually quite nice. So this is how you set up your night vision in the simplest way possible. And you can also achieve a lot of uh, creative effects. So play around with it. And I hope you enjoy this video. If you are an advanced reshade user, please don't hesitate to leave in the comments your tips to help me and the viewers to master the power of Rayshade. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Ooh, look at the color of the ship. Nice. Gonna... Oh no! I fell! Oh, I fell! <laughs> wow. Enjoying the city lights for a few more seconds. Oh, I fell through area 18. Oh, I got teleported back to Lorville? What? <laughs> yeah, in Lorville, we probably need a different ray shade because Lorville is more orange and yellow.